discomfort or something? Uh, yeah, it was a lot of running. It's a uh, training camp. Uh, just trying to get us out of comfort zone, like you said. Um, trying to do some harder things. Just like push ourselves to the extra limit so we can just burst through the ceiling. Um, but yeah, it was just mentally tough. I mean, it wasn't as physically tough as some people thought it would be, or as they thought it would be, but just mentally tough, just trying to stay strong, trying to stay locked in for a long period of time. Uh, that was the challenging part. Yeah, um, I think he was trying to just make practices harder than games. So um, hopefully tomorrow we can see that. And uh, hopefully it is a little bit easier. So um, just trying to prepare ourselves for, for the like the hardest thing ever. So just trying to just burst through that, try to just go through that scene, like I said, and take it to the next level. How helpful was one year of, of you and Donovan together? And, and, and what ways do you feel like you guys can build off of that as a duo? Uh, I mean, just having one year now about just playing basketball together. Uh, I mean, I think great things are to come. Uh, I mean, we have a good feel for each other on the court now. Uh, we know where we are most effective and most efficient. So uh, I think this year should be really good. It should be an improvement from last year and uh, see how it goes. How different do you feel like the Evan Mobley today is from the guy that walked in here a couple years ago? Uh, his confidence is super high. Um, he knows he plays a really huge part in this team and all his success. And, um, I mean, he knows his role. He knows what is expected of him. He knows what's expected of all of us. And, uh, he's a killer. I mean, he's going to get to that all-star level. Um, hopefully all defensive player of the year this year. So um, I mean, his confidence is super high. He's ready to go. How, uh, how would things change for you guys tomorrow night if you don't have J.A.? Nothing would change. Uh, I mean, the rim protection is definitely going to be missed. Uh, it's defensive presence, law presence. But, uh, I mean, we got some other guys that's able to do some things that he's kind of capable of doing. So, uh, just have to just fill the role. Uh, everybody just have to be ready to step up. I asked Donovan about this the other day, but I'm sure you saw him coming down his block on Wiggins the other night. As a perimeter player, when you see a guy like that or see that happen, how, how do you beat that? How do you break that down? Pass the ball, <laughs> I guess. Uh, I shoot over him, try to at least. But uh, I mean, that's a one of a lifetime type of guy. So hopefully it's not that as many players like him. But uh, I guess shoot over him a pass. And that's the best thing I can tell Wiggs right now. I mean, so, I mean, Evan's like seven foot. Wimby's like seven five, so it's like a difference, I guess. I haven't seen Wimby in person, so I don't know. Um, but I mean, Evan is something similar to him. Um, so yeah, those guys are just unicorns. I mean, it's just something you will see a lot. Isaac, rookie Confidence is super sky high. Uh, he wants to shoot the ball now. As a rookie, he wasn't shooting at all. Um, now he wants to shoot the ball. He's starting to come out of shell a lot more. He's starting to become himself. Uh, and he established a role in this team and the league. So yeah, I think he's super happy. Uh, we're super happy of his progress and all the work that he's done and it's paying off. Him or Isaac? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go Bert though. Yeah, I'm gonna go Bert. Yeah. I'm gonna go Bert. Yep. <laughs>